Look at this image. It shows the people who are suffering from various genetic disorders. Even in that, you can see a child who is suffering from Down syndrome. Is there no cure for them? Here comes science giving them all a hope. Yes, it is through stem cell therapy. If you want to know how, do watch this video continuously. Stem cells are unspecialized cells of the human body. Here note that there are two types of cells present in the body, which are the specialized and unspecialized cells. Specialized cells have specific capabilities that allow them to perform certain tasks. For example, take RBC or the red blood cell. It contains hemoglobin that allows it to carry oxygen. But if you take stem cells, they have unspecialized capability. That is, they can differentiate into any cell of an organism and have the ability of self-renewal. Here self-renewal means the ability to divide and make an indefinite number of copies of themselves. So, stem cells can be used to produce any other cell type in our body at times of need. Here you have to note that the stem cells exist both in embryos and adult cells. So now let me sum up the properties of stem cells for you. First, they are undifferentiated cells which can turn themselves up into differentiated cells. Secondly, they are capable of self-renewal. Then thirdly, they are present in both adults and children. So these are all some of the properties of the stem cells. Now let's see the different types of stem cells based on stem cells formation at different times of human lives. So here there are three types. One is embryonic stem cells and the other one is adult stem cells and the last one is the induced pluripotent stem cells. Firstly, let's take the embryonic stem cells. They supply new cells for an embryo as it grows and develops into a baby. These stem cells are said to be pluripotent which means they can change into any cell in the body. Then comes the adult stem cells. Adult stem cells supply new cells as an organism grows and to replace cells that get damaged. They are said to be multipotent. Here multipotent means the cells have the capacity to self-renew by dividing and to develop into multiple specialized cell types present in a specific tissue or organ. For example, blood stem cells can only replace the various types of cells in the blood and skin stem cells provide the different types of cells that make up our skin and hair. Okay. Now coming to the induced pluripotent stem cells. The induced pluripotent stem cells, which is also shortly called as IPS cells, are the type of stem cells that scientists make in the laboratory. See, induced means they are made in the lab by taking normal adult cells like skin or blood cells and reprogramming them to become stem cells. Just like embryonic stem cells, they are pluripotent so that they can develop into any cell. Now talking about the significance of this induced pluripotent stem cells. Firstly, these cells can be created from the tissue of the same patient who is going to receive the tissue or organ transplantation. So this helps in avoiding immune system rejection. Then we can avoid the possible ethical implication issues. Because those cells are harvested only from a willing adult without harming them. Also, these patient-specific cells can be used to study disease outside a living organism. Then, it is also used to test drugs on a human model without endangering anyone. And hopefully, it will act as tissue replacement for diseased and damaged cells in a body. Now, coming to stem cell therapy. See, stem cell therapy can be defined as a type of regenerative medicine in which stem cells can be guided into becoming specific cells. And these can be used in people to regenerate and repair tissues that have been damaged or affected by diseases. So I am going to discuss two of the present benefits of stem cells to make you understand the importance of the stem cell therapy. See, stem cells can be used in the treatment of cardiovascular diseases. Here, cardiovascular illness can deprive the heart tissue of oxygen, causing the formation of scar tissue. 
which then alters blood pressure or blood flow itself then according to research stem cells from adult bone marrow can differentiate into those required to repair the blood cells and heart and this is due to the secretion of numerous growth factors okay so first use is it can be used in the treatment of cardiovascular diseases now coming to the second benefit stem cell therapy can help heal incisions and wounds caused in our body studies have discovered that stem cell therapy can help enhance the growth of new healthy skin tissue then stimulate hair development after incisions or loss and then it can help substitute scar tissue with newly developed healthy tissue so these are some of the present uses of stem cell therapy see there are lots and lots of uses for the stem cell therapy the stem cells have the potential to treat many diseases like diabetes cancer then parkinson's alzheimer then they can be used in curing genetic disorders here i can quote the example of using adult stem cells for the purpose of treating genetic diseases see the bone marrow transplants and the hematopoietic stem cells within are used to treat genetic and acquired diseases of the blood and immune system then the new developments include genetic engineering of hematopoietic stem cells to cure some genetic diseases see what is meant by this hematopoietic stem cells they are multipotent primitive cells that can develop into all types of blood cells including myeloid lineage and lymphoid lineage cells okay and these cells can be found in several organs such as peripheral blood bone marrow and umbilical cord blood okay i hope you would have understood the term stem cells stem cell therapy and what are all the properties of stem cell that is helping in stem cell technology development and how the stem cell technology or therapy is helping to address the rare genetic disorder and it gives a relief to the people who are suffering from the genetic disorders or diseases and you all know how important this kind of science and technology topic is for your gs paper 3 in mains am i right so if you want to watch more science related topics do watch our hindu newspaper analysis and stay updated for your prelims as well as your mains examination thank you for watching